Hi everybody, this is Pablo Carrasco from fpnips.com. Today I would like to talk to you about a problem that many many people have with pens, with international or not international, with any kind of uh, piston converters, that they have uh, sometimes uh, ink flow problems and they they don't know where where the, the problem comes. So, uh, uh, in my in my opinion, um, there are some uh, some uh, issues, but not with the converter, but uh, with the ink uh, you can use with your um, uh, converter pen, fountain pen. Uh, all right, I would like to. Uh, show you these two, these two converters one this one yeah this one it is filled with uh, diamine uh, diamine ochre uh, fountain pen ink this one and this other one is filled with uh, this uh, drawer and cleaner um, I don't know how to. Uh, it's a uh, yeah old golden green with this ink. All right. So as you can see, um, how the ink behave in each converter. This is the. The diamine and the ink is very sticky. It's like, yeah, like it doesn't move with with the air. It doesn't move uh, easily. But with this one, the ink moves freely in the converter. I don't know if the video will will show you that. But if I move the converter upwards and downwards or whatever you movement you do the ink will move and the and the air too the bubbles air too will move so this ink the roller and clickner is is uh, and the flow is much much better and and what uh, this uh, affect the the pen flow well uh, if you see a converter and, a, and a, any fountain pen works um, uh, with uh, with ink and air. So the ink that comes out the converter, the same ink, the same amount of air must come into the converter. So sometimes, for example. I will try to show you. I don't know if the camera will will catch this, but imagine uh, you you are using you are using your your fountain pen. So the ink comes out. Can you see a a drop coming out? Uh, the ink come out out. All right, a drop. And imagine air coming into the the converter. All right. Here, I don't know if you will see it, but here, the bubble that has come into the converter stay right here, right where the this housing will get into the converter, where the feeder is. So it doesn't go all the way up to the converter. I don't know if you're seeing, but. Here is the bubble, right here, where the feeder should take the ink, right here and right here. Okay, so if this happens, the fountain pen will stop writing, the, the ink will not come to the, to the feeder, to the nib and uh, obviously not to the paper. 
because of this little bubble, air bubble, that because of the ink doesn't go all the way through the top of the converter. So that is what it is avoiding ink come properly to your nib. Hope you understand. I, I don't know if I am explaining very well. I'm a Spanish and my English is not very very good, but maybe you 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 catch me and you it, it, the bubble stay there, all right? Stay right there. And with this other ink that is with the diamond, with this other ink. Can you see the bubbles going up and down freely? I'm going to do the same. I'm going to, mm, mm, to make a drop of ink come out. All right. Hope you can see it. A drop of ink. All right. And now a drop of a bubble of air will come into the converter. All right, there it is. Oops, and now it's all the way on into the top. It has come some air into the converter and easily all the way to the top of the converter. So the air goes up and the ink down. This ink will work much, much better in, in any fountain pen with any piston converter system, filling system. And if you are having that kind of problems in any fountain pen, you have to search for the right, the right ink for that pen. All right, you can see it. It's really, really clear to me, at least, that the uh, that the bubbles comes all the way up. Mm, this this converter is filled with water. Maybe the, in this one you will see it more clear. Let me remove this here. Here I have the uh, a piston uh, converter with with water. I will drop down um, a drop of water. Okay, and now maybe here, and now a bubble will come into the converter. There it is. Here there is a bubble of air. So the housing, the feeder, will not catch the the ink. Will be only with with air. So that's why sometimes the ink doesn't come to the to the nib. Alright, here it is, the bubble. Can you see? Yeah. And you can see like the water if I put the converter upwards the water doesn't come out come come down and the bubble is here, so that's why sometimes mm, some inks doesn't work properly in this kind of fountain pens with piston converters filling systems. And uh, if you want to use uh, an ink and an, an ink that mm, doesn't move pretty well into the converter like this, all right? Like this, that the, uh, here the, the, the air doesn't move freely. One option that, that many people do is add a, a drop of a, a washing, washing soap like this. Dish washing soap 
a tiny tiny drop I, I will recommend you use a VL like this this is a 5mm DL VL so uh, if you uh, don't like you don't have to ruin all your all your ink bottle so uh, you put a little bit of ink in this VL and you uh, add a little very very little drop of uh, dishwashing soap so uh, and you test it you you shake it a little bit feel your converter yeah this is uh, an, a new converter yeah what if that is enough and you will okay you see it this this is a diamine majestic blue that uh, it, it what it it, ha, it it's it is a very sticky ink like like this one like this one uh, i have mentioned before but i have put a little very very little drop of uh, dishwashing dishwashing soap all right and now look at this how it moves the air and the and the um, the ink uh, moves moves freely into the converter so that will make a better flow in your fountain pen but uh, you have to test it you have to test um, this ink with a drop of washing dishwashing soap in your paper in your uh, preferred paper uh, so uh, everything works do it with a little amount of ink and do some tests because in most of the cases that I have uh, I have had um, uh, uh, the problem comes from the ink not from the pen okay so um, here it is if you want to uh, have any question or do you want to comment something uh, feel free to contact me okay thank you for watching bye